Fourth problem, it reads, a rod of length 2 cm makes an angle 2 pi by 3 radian with the principal axis of a thin convex lens. The lens has a focal length of 10 cm and is placed at a distance of 40 by 3 cm from the object as shown in the figure. The height of the image is uh, 30 root 3 by 13 cm and at the angle made by it with respect to the principal axis is alpha radian. So we need to find this alpha. Alpha is pi by n. So we need to basically find this n number. So uh, this is the lens, this is the object, let's say A and B, these are the two endpoints of the object and this A dash, B dash, these are the endpoints of the image. So basically A point has its image as A prime, B point has its image as B prime. We need to find this alpha, so uh, B dash, C dash is known to us. If somehow we can find this A prime, C prime, so we will get the base and perpendicular, we can find this alpha easily. Now A prime is going to be the image of the point A, so this A point is... Uh, at 40 by 3 centimeter from the lens so for a prime we are doing the calculation we are using the lens formula which is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f so 1 by v is going to be minus 1 by u u is going to be minus 40 by 3 and f is 10 centimeters so after simplification this came out to be 40 centimeter that means from this lens up to the point a prime the distance is 40 centimeter now then we need to find uh, this c dash now c dash is going to be uh, location where this c is going to be landing right so let's drop a perpendicular from b to uh, principal axis so that becomes c now since we know uh, this a b a b length is given as a two centimeter and this angle was two pi by three so the remaining angle will be pi by three that is 60 degrees so that is two centimeter and this angle 60 degree this is right angle triangle we can find this length c a length so that will be like two cos pi by three Cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2, so that turn out to 1 centimeter. So that is basically C point will have a distance from the lens as 40 by 3 plus 1. That means 43 by 3 centimeter. So for C prime, we will be writing this U, which is 40 by 3 plus 1, and we using the same equation back. After so the simplification, you'll find this VC prime, that means this V can turn out to be 430 divided by 13 centimeter. Now, since we know we got to know the location of a prime and c prime so the difference between these two is going to be that this a prime c prime so we can find this a prime c prime now if it then 10 alpha is going to be like this b prime c prime divided by a prime c prime that's 10 alpha from this triangle now b prime c prime is a given as 30 root 3 divided by 13 and this number is going to be 40 minus 430 by 13. After simplification, you'll find 13 will get cancelled out. It'll be 30 root 3 divided by, and that multiplication will be 520 minus 430, which turn out to be 90 in denominator. After simplification, it turn out to be 1 by root 3. So 10 alpha is 1 by root 3. So alpha must be pi by 6. And if it is pi by 6, so n must be 6. So 6 must be the answer for this particular equation. So this was based on simple um, image formation, ray optics, and easier one. Thank you.